Okay, so someone was complaining that, oh, my video was blank. Well, in that, yes, you got your wrist. There's something on the screen now. You got your freaking wrist. But now we're done with that. Okay, today. The game, 2019 for gaming has been an awful year so far. Has been a terrible year. We had a really crappy Far Cry game. Okay, we had a Mario remake that no one wanted. And a sequel to Kingdom Hearts 2, which was, has frozen in, in it. And that's the reason why I didn't get it. And then we had another remake of an older game. So, so 2019 and gaming, there's really nothing good. Besides, like, one game, but I'm not mentioning that game. But EA decided to take a giant dump on the gaming industry by creating Anthem. Quite possibly one of the most boring and stupidest awful games. No, not most boring, not stupidest awful. One of the worst games of 2019. Anthem is basically if Destiny had more life in it. If Destiny had a story. But had glitches. Yes. As you all remember the awful game called Destiny. The really horrible game that some people claim that is one of the greatest games of all time. But most people said it was an awful game. And you are in the minority if you hated Destiny. But Anthem is a special kind of game. EA has been whining to you straight up. Straight up to get you to buy the game. This is just absolutely awful, awful business practice. EA says there'll be no microtransactions in the, in the game, but yet they still include them anyways. Because you know how EA is? They do not care about the fans. A few people still say, oh, people, EA cares about the fans, but they really don't. EA is one of the least caring companies in the entire world. Let's look at how they abuse Star Wars fans. Like, he thought Disney was bad for Star Wars fans. EA was even worse. They can't even give you a good Star Wars game. Where they won't give you a... Good video game, EA. EA cannot even... Do that, but... EA had another form. Yes, EA... Of course... Knowing EA... The probably get still make another one. They'll probably get, get rid of Bioware altogether because they made one game that didn't perform well. They did the same thing to Vice World Games. So I want to do it to Bioware too. And from, and then let's look at the critic score. Yeah, it's not looking that good. And from is saying that it's 61 on Metacritic. And uh, yes, a 61 on Metacritic. This is just an awful, awful score for a video game. And from... Well, I knew I knew Anthem was gonna be bad. Just looking at EA, it's an EA game. I knew it was gonna be bad. Okay, and they probably made back all the money from Apex Legends, which was not a good game at all. People say, "Oh, it's a great game. You should play Apex Legends," but considering it's made by EA, it's not that good. When compared to a game, free game in the same setting, you can't help but know about the disappointment the game brings with. We were already well before Vaughn that uh, that the gameplay demo was flawed, and of course someone was complaining about the graphics, but this is just okay. Here's one of the reviews: the more was complaining because the graphics were not good enough. There are more things than the graphics. When they talk about wow factors, they talk about graphics. The game is gritty. Okay, the game has a lot of bugs that they sort of fixed before wants. Well, I guess EA didn't take a lesson from Bethesda and see how that worked. At least this game has a better score than Fallout 76. And it has a way higher score than... Battlefield. No. Feminist SAW Field 5. At least this game has a much better score than um, Fallout 76, which is insane much because... People hated that game, and this is for the same exact reason. Oh, look, the user reviews are practically gone for Fallout 76. But, probably because Professor Payne Mac click to remove all reviews off of Fallout 76. This is, Anthem is just proof that EA is just an awful, greedy company that nobody, 
Nobody cares about. Nobody likes EA anymore. If you still support EA in the games, I have no idea what you're doing. Um, if play actual good games, not anything made by EA. Okay. Anthem. Anthem can go die. Worst game of the entire year. Goodbye.